what it do. It's your boy MG with 800 Entertainment. This is the Mike City Podcast introducing Crew Talk. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got the crew with me. We Yo. Got, we we're actually in Fort Lauderdale, Florida at Brown Stew Studios. We over here in the lobby with Mr. Brown Stew himself, Mr. Dizzy. One Yo. time, one Yo. time. We got my dog MBM Queez once again, Yo. right? And we got Quavon. All right, you know, first and foremost, you know, rough out here in the motherfucking field. So before we go any further, rest in peace to take off, man. You know, very, very, very sad and unfortunate, you know, type of events that have happened. That's real. Yeah, you know, rest of uh, our condolences. Rest in peace, take off. So, yeah. Condolences to the family and friends. Condolences to the family and friends. Let's do like a three second moment of silence. Definitely. Rest in peace, homie. All right. So, you know, just to talk about everything that's going on in entertainment, you know, there's a lot of wild news. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got Kanye West got set on fire, you know, talking with all this Kanye stuff. Kanye got set on fire? Not literally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not literally. Oh, not shit. literally, but I'm saying his career definitely. I was like, damn, bro. Definitely. <laughs> There's too much shit going on. <laughs> way, way too much shit going on. But, um... You know, you know, I got a list of things that I wanted to, you know, jump on, talk about. You know what I mean? Yeah, Kanye's kind of been wild. Like and the thing about it is, like, it's it's it's, it's possible. Like, what Man, the I fuck? fuck with Kanye? Yeah, Michael Jackson got set on fire. Why the fuck Kanye? I fuck Kanye heavy. Kanye yeah, said, "God damn, what? What? Yeah, I better pay attention. Shut the fuck up." Yeah. yeah. Kanye yeah. told him, "Big bad bitch, shut the fuck up." Right now, listen, pay attention. Yeah. Fuck going on, they got Kanye fucked up, what? Yeah. Kanye knew what he was doing when he came on that on that motherfucker sh- did that interview. But that nigga knew exactly what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's trying to separate himself. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. what I felt. He got it. He was making a stand right there. He was making a stand right there. Yeah, and I don't think he was wrong either. Crazy. He went on that motherfucker. Not crazy like crazy. He went on that motherfucker and let a lot of information. What? A lot of what? A lot of information. That's why they banned it. They Cause banned they don't want no shit like that, man. They don't want you hearing that. I mean, it just goes to show you who you can. Yeah, talk, yeah. You can they about. don't want you hearing that shit, bro. Yeah, they don't want you to hear that. They shit. They don't want you to hear that. Nah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. man. That nigga spoke the truth, and they yeah. like, oh my god, up that. Stop. Get it out of here! What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. That shit real. For some niggas, Kanye got enough money to say what the fuck they want. Yeah, he said, "Fuck them couple billion." That just go to show you, as much money as you feel like you got, nigga. Gotta shit. watch your tone. No, nah, nah, but it was like, money. "Fuck the money, nigga." It's bigger than the money. The money ain't shit. The so money don't, don't make you, bro. That shit? Hell no, nah, he free now. He he finna double back. What you mean? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. That's it. It comes with freedom. That's just like, look, he just did it on a scale like this. Like when a rap nigga trying to buy out their contract, like when he like, fuck it, I'm calling a con, fuck the contract. Now I'm finna buy, like when Yo Gotti bought out his money, he said, I spent 400000 nigga. I lost 400000 He said, but nigga, I doubled that shit back. We hustlers like, he on a bigger scale. Okay, fuck it. You want to take a couple billion from me? I'm still worth, I got 800,000 put up, whatever, and I got 100% of my brand, yeah, nigga. I'm a, on, I'm a founder. Yeah, I got y'all, I don't, now when he double back, he get all that. Yeah, but that's what I took Come about. Come on, he, that's that what look, I took from the nigga, situation. He what you mean? gave up wealth. When he dropped, man, just think about now. Do you see what Adidas about to drop? Did yeah. you see the shoes? Some bullshit. What's they trying to, they, shit? yes, yeah. all they shit look like yay, nigga. Yeah, all they shit look like. All they yeah. shit look like yay. They, 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 and you they, saying you thinking? Fuck with this man, shit. not the culture ain't. No, we ain't nigga, the culture ain't gonna fuck with them. No, we ain't fucking. Nigga, we ain't. I ain't nigga. I'll never buy none of that shit. Ain't fucking with it. You just fuck. Yeah, think it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I ain't really buy anything. Adidas. If it's nah, it's like I ain't gonna buy no shit. That shit don't even look. It look fake. It look like a knockoff Yeezy. Definitely. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. So yeah. why would you wear that? I, I didn't even know. I just guess. It looked like shit. a knockoff Yeezy. Yeah, man, so you got to wait for Yeezy to get back in position. He in position. He in position. That's, why, that's what people do. Like yeah, that. but you can't lose supporters, bro. It's, it's, it's just like burning bread. When he lost supporters, he gained so many more. 
How? Because How? How? People, people don't so fuck with him again. No, because there's more people that believe in what he's talking about and it's gonna be like, oh man, I, yeah, he is crazy and all that, but I believe in what he's saying. I'm riding with him. Fuck them. It's gonna make sure you gonna have people. Prove, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, so, you know how many more? It kind of proves itself when he said what he said, and then the fucking the powers that be shut down on his ass. Right. It kind of showed that what he was uh, saying was kind of had some truth to it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But uh, you know what? I want to change the subject and jump onto fucking uh, yeah. DJ Academics, man. Yeah. The shit that he was saying about all the old I'm rappers. Right, now. Right? You right now. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm you heard what he said about all the old niggas? No, I ain't catch that one. Where he was saying all, all the four founders of the hip hop um, are old and dusty, and them niggas is broke. Who are, who are they? The four founders of hip hop? Yeah, he's what, talking what? about like the, the, the niggas, the first wave of hip hop pioneers. How he was like, them niggas is old. No, but how far back is he going? He's, he's going back to like the beginning of the time. 70s, early 80s. Yeah, like shit. the beginning of time, like the first wave. The niggas that, that came through yeah. after the DJs, like the first groups and first shit. Groups, he's like, yeah. The first two niggas. He's trying to like, like Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster Flash, shit. Furious yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I personally won't go to, to a show. I mean, I've been at uh, one of my shows the other day. The nigga came yeah, through and killed that, that shit. Killed that shit. That from Sugar Hill Gang. That nigga killed that shit. Oh yeah, that, that, that nigga. That nigga, that nigga, did, that nigga did a good thing. He killed but, that but, shit. but he's trying to say yeah, for a hip hop head. No, but he, he made some remix. Yeah, it was hip hop head. Yeah, but what he was saying is that them niggas was broke. Niggas, everybody in the hip hop industry jumped on his ass. They was like, nigga. Uh, they were just jumping on his head. But you know what I'm saying? That ain't really fair to say that because that just showed the evolution of the game. Like, them was the final. That's just like in sports. You got the niggas who was playing basketball or football way back in the 80s and yeah, shit. Them the niggas weren't contracts. making the money. They was opening the doors, yeah, setting yeah, 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 yeah. going through the struggle, opening the doors for our people to get big checks today. Yeah. So you got to pay homage to them. Like, that's why I be feeling like motherfuckers should, like, at these times when you know people get millions of dollars, then you got these people, it should be some type of re retribution. I mean, it's, you know it's, what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, like, it's do that because if it wasn't for them, that's just like trying, that's just like going back on saying your people, your grandma or somebody, or your, your man that was broke as hell but trying to make a way no, for you to be where you at today. Like, you can't dog them. No, no but what, what, what is he you saying? You can't talk about them. Are he, are he Calling them because like, they're trying to make a comeback or something. Not shit. because they're trying to make a comeback. He's just trying to. He's just talking shit on them niggas because none of them are millionaires, so to speak. Yeah, but just like he was saying, yeah, yeah. but just like he's saying, you had to go through that in order to get to that because you, a lot of niggas needed niggas needed to know better. Niggas needed to know that that's not the contract that I needed to have. Or now I know ownerships or, or joint venture. So a lot of niggas didn't have those opportunities back then because they didn't even know. They they're getting signed. Know. They're getting signed for a fifty dollar advance or a fifty thousand advance. It took them to go through that shit, man. Yeah, I know. And to learn. The so game. it isn't fair for him to so say you that. Can have, yeah, it's not fair for him to say that. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. People were up before you had the masterpiece and you had the. People who was really like learn the game, like it took people to teach them that and show, easy like for them to show. Get easy, he had a white dude that gave him. No, but then that's what like, I was saying. You got to just bring me back to what I was saying before. Yeah, if the people that used to listen to his music was still alive, uh -huh. he'll still have supporters. So that's why his fucking value decreased. You see what I'm saying? Music yeah. is the, the evolution of the music change. Yeah, but and, he, and a lot of his supporters died, dog. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he old, so, bro. Right. It's like so you bro, can't yeah, just yeah, throw a know. fucking concert and expect that shit to just sell out. Yeah. Because you that's not the people that's going. The concert. Well, but now if you compare them niggas from back in the days now, now you put but now these it's older like, niggas that's it, now. It was a lot of bad contracts that learned the game. You got to give it to a lot of bad contracts yeah. and a lot of yeah. a lack of knowledge. That's niggas, what I'm saying. Niggas didn't know. And they, and they got shitty contracts nowadays, nowadays niggas got the right lawyers they're going over the contracts they're making sure everything's correct so that yeah. niggas ain't getting stuck in the bad contracts nowadays you got the higher like you said like you got the jd jay-z's you got the them niggas that the that done was the ones to show everybody else the way to do it exactly and they on ownership them niggas gonna be old as hell still going on tours and making money Facts. forever like rock and roll they're gonna be the they're gonna be making they, rock yeah. and roll niggas yeah this is torn and they fit it's just the, the generations dog it was just generations like the people before them like you just look at like who who jay-z and them and say that they idols were like like you big daddy kane yeah, and all that they ain't got the saying. money like they, but that was who they learned the game but from. that's what they see that class of rap is still touring yeah they still yeah. tour but they touring ain't the same it's not the same no you're right because they didn't have the world they didn't have the conscious to get so when they torn they didn't they couldn't get the, the full royalties from their songs even even torn yeah they so, 
probably locked in shit. You know what I feel like? I feel like, like, I feel like you brung out Jay and um, I feel like Jay, I feel like these people just basically kept themselves in the public eye though. You feel what I'm Even though they I mean, got a bag, even though. they got a bag, they could have got a bag and been been di and disappeared. They was consistent you feel though. Me? Like right. they, he could have got that bag. And they kept they so relevant. They kept they so relevant. He right. You Definitely. Right. That's longevity. So so we was talking about yeah. We was talking about bad contracts. They made a career out of this shit. They made a career. Yeah. A real so career. We they was talking about the game. bad contracts. Let's talk about some good contracts. The best contract in the game. Me and my dog talked about it already before off off camera. The best contract in the game right now. Shout out to Bad Bunny. The best contract. Ninety ten split. Right? He gets the majority of fucking everything. You ever heard about this contract? No. The best contract, the money, best contract used to be money, Master he P. Huge. Yeah, he is huge. He the biggest that's artist. So he big. huge. He's but that's why it's so, but money. that's what make it so much, the contract, yeah, that's what make the contract so much better. Big because he's yeah. so huge and he still gets a 90-10. 90-10. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Drake huge as hell. He ain't got no 90-10. Got an 80-20. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like cash money. And it took him a while for him to get to 80-20. Yes. He had to do like six albums or some shit. <laughs> like, them niggas got rich as fuck. Rich as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but this nigga Bad Bunny's bringing in the business, though. They, yeah. they reported that um over the, over the summertime, in the month of either August or September, the nigga made $125 million in one month off of ticket sales for his motherfucking concert. And his album... Not his album. His tour altogether has already brought in over two hundred and fifty million dollars. So once again, shout out to motherfucking Bad Bunny, man. Yeah, that yeah. Hey, doing. I want to be like you when I grow that up. That nigga got the best contracts in the game, and he's killing them. Yeah, you know who's doing that shit too? Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Yeah. That nigga oh, business five, wise, yeah. five hundred thousand a show to Bunny. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you talking? Man, you got Burner Boy. Yeah. yeah. From yeah. UK. Yeah. Yeah, no, the nigga from Africa. From Africa, but he, he be ripping up the UK. This is what I be saying this shit. Yeah, Huge over there, and that's just the money part. I ain't talking about all the amenities and shit that he asking for. That's the fucking up. hotels, the jets. He wanted to be flown on this shit, and that ain't shit, including the, ain't the money, the, the show. I'm talking about what the promoter got to That burner boy, that African Afro, the Afro beats yeah. came through in 2018 heavy. That shit took over. That shit took over. It's like reggae. It's the reggae vibe for the universal, international. That shit's a vibe, man. It's a yeah. fucking vibe. Just like another. He don't want to say, yeah, 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 all right, so let's move on to shit. Bro. No, but I wanted to say still while we was on that, another person that people slept on who did it and, and was under the radar because he ain't getting no radio play, but they didn't, people didn't even know this man outsold, he had the number one record, he outsold Bad Bunny. His record outsold Bad Bunny, outsold goddamn Beyonce, all that. And he did it, and it was, but he did it 100% independent with, with, and why they tried to cancel him. And that's that boy Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. Hey man, we get around the block. Shout out to Tory Lanez. Yeah. That, that boy's on fire, man. I did that. I fuck with Tory Look that shit up. I fuck with Tory Lanez. He also bad bunny. He had the number one album in the world. And, and, he, Tori. and he did that shit I when they he, tried to cancel him out. I hope he makes it. Tori, holla at me. And he got Let's call out, he nigga. Get all the money. Come to Brown Stew. <laughs> come to Brown Stew. Every time you're a lot of that broad county, nigga, I fuck with you, Tori. I fuck with you, Tori. Alright, so 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 change the subject real quick. You know what I'm saying? We all talk. I think he can rap. He can sing. Nah, he's a good he's nigga, man. Yeah. That motherfucker. Big time artist, man. He's hard. Yeah, he's hard. And, 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 and I'll be hearing music and shit. Sorry to cut you no, off. Go ahead. And I'll be like, I'll be like, who the fuck sang that song? The and then I look, look it up and be like, Tory Lanez. Like, God damn. That nigga right. fucking he do like everything. He's like a black Drake. He killed it. He's the black Drake. Yes. Yeah, or the hood Drake. Like the hood, that's what I meant to say. Like the hood or Drake. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Well, that brings me to Drake. the next one, right? Talent versus business. Because there's a lot of niggas out here that swear they talented, but they ain't got their business in order. Or there's some niggas that got their business in order, but they ain't really that talented. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. want to speak on that a little bit? Man, 
Man, I see that shit every day. I know you do being in the studio. Yeah. I see that shit all the time with the showcases that I put on and the shows and all the artists that I put on. Hey, but I want to them let niggas you know. need to cross paths with each other, nigga. That's what we have to do. Find a way to let them motherfuckers who ain't talented cross paths with the motherfuckers who is talented who got a business. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about a balance. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The niggas need managers. And that is just a, it's niggas, about niggas, integrating niggas with each other. Managers. Yeah. Niggas need it's managers. about integrating yeah. with each other and making this shit happen. Yeah, and, and and always in you know take the time to invest in the right material and and, and put yourself in the right light. You know what I'm saying? Because in order to be any type of artist on any level, you definitely got to have your motherfucking business right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh God, facts. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I can say with 800 Entertainment doing all the Mike City shows, everything that I got going on. A lot of friends are artists and shit got to have your business in order. You know what I'm saying? Don't come to the table half-assing. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you step hard and then have your business in order. And then, you know a nigga right now who I'm gonna say, or two young niggas that I can say right now, they got their business in order? The first one I'm gonna say is the you NBA know? Young Boy real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. $60 million contract, signed a big-ass pub deal with Universal Motown. You know what I'm saying? Shout out that boy right there because that was really, really big business. Huge. Huge. And that boy put out motherfucking, I think it was 15 albums or 23 albums. Young boy? Yeah, like something stupid. Yeah, yeah. He put out that many albums? Like 23 albums. 20, I think it's 23 albums. Yeah, yeah. The nigga dropped 23 albums. No wonder I can't you know what kind of work ethic that nigga no, got? I love that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. No. That nigga got a song. With no yeah, radio. He auto me on this. Yeah, with no radio Young niggas, dog, they love Tori. I mean, no radio play. And they know it's your Tori Lanez again. I'm calling this nigga name. But Young Boy, god damn it, dog. But they trying to say he got a. Young Boy in his past up with his age is past up. He got a lot of stuff. That's all my son. Listen to that. Man, he, got, he just passed up. What was it? Who he just passed up? Jay Z. Drake. No. He just passed. Yeah, Jay Z and it was a Drake. Is the most number one albums or some shit? Most number one albums. No, and then he passed up Drake for the for the uh, most song most songs with over a hundred million fucking uh, downloads or streams. Or that boy's on five. That nigga got like that nine boy, billion. He got like nine billion. <laughs> Why that nigga got so many jits nine though? Nine billion streams. Ten jits at twenty years old. That's the trend. That shit's on fire. Shit, that shit's wild. Man, can that shit. He's twenty years old or twenty one, and he got ten jits. NBA young boy twenty. No, yeah, he young as fuck. He's twenty years old and he got ten jits. That little nigga young as fuck. Hey, you know what? You know, I'm gonna change the subject. That shit, that nigga was like 15, 16 years old. Little babies were like two, three babies and shit. Yeah, yeah. That came out. Was, that little nigga was young when he first dropped that thirty-eight baby boy. That little nigga was about fifteen. That boy's on fire though from yeah. the beginning. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Wallet! But he just dropped that $60 million contract and he left Atlantic Records, right? Who else left Atlantic Records this year? Kodak Black. Kodak. Got signed with Capitol Records. 30 million. 30, they said 30 to 40, somewhere in that range. Wait, wait, wait. And that's when they all brought up Kodak, because that's what I was saying when I was on Chase. Did you go to Chase Kodak? Kodak. Kodak. Yeah. That was going to Chase yeah. yeah. right to Kodak. He Shout out Kodak, man. Brown yeah. County, yeah. man. Shout out to motherfucking yeah. 954. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, that's what I was talking about when I was gonna change the subject. Because he said, he said that little nigga, dog, Kodak Black is short as fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize how short that nigga is. What is he, like 5'2? Five, 5'7. Five, seven, five. Five, seven. Oh, shit, All them niggas are short. T.I. Lil Yeah, they dropped a video. What y'all see that video he just dropped on Halloween? No. He just dropped some shit, whatever. Oh, yeah, on Halloween? Yeah, yeah he's now. Oh, shit. Shout out Kodak. Hey, Shout hey, out he's Sniper he's Gang. He's Shout out all the niggas on the east side. Man. I ain't gonna do shit out, boy. They ain't uh, fucking yeah. with Kodak, man. I'm yeah. telling you. I mean, that nigga got Florida on Smash. Hey, Kodak, I got some tracks for you, too, man. The boy got Florida on Smash. Fucking with yeah. All right. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you somebody that Kodak Black, NBA Youngboy, Drake, Adele, and Beyonce, I'm gonna name one person that they can't even fuck with this year. <laughs> a Buggy, all them motherfuckers who ain't can't fucking come close to this artist I'm about to name. You wanna take a guess? Let me guess. Meek Mill? What? Meek Mill ain't dropped <laughs> shit. <laughs> take a guess. You wanna take a guess? Nigga probably was hustling. No, honestly, you know what all right, fuck it. Y'all niggas want to guess. Taylor Swift, country pop star. 1.58 million records. First week sales. 
Let me get a round of applause for Taylor Swift, <laughs> motherfucker. Man, history, history. history. That's the history. biggest thing. Yeah. 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 She broke history. Yeah, she broke records, nigga. One point five. She's like, shout out to Taylor Swift. She's in the top we, ten. I, I would have never guessed. Top that. ten. I don't know. Top ten grossing albums of all time. They just dropped I ain't know year. she dropped. I, you know, I know Taylor Swift, baby, but I ain't know she just dropped the album. You know what I'm saying? It's so called I Midnight. Ain't know. So it's in all the stores. Know, I know when Taylor Swift but, dropped. It's, it's heavy. Listen, yeah. she she sold over her before, a half bro. a million vinyls. She's alone, Listen, bro. she pulled up. She I was on Ocean Miami. Drive one time, dog. In Miami. In Miami, she came through with the NASCAR driver, like the professional that they had the NASCAR oh, out there. Date. No, they did a photo shoot. They had she was on top of the NASCAR. They had the NASCAR revving up. I think it was like Jimmy Johnson or somebody. I don't know what. Bro, shut the whole beach down. You would have thought Beyonce was out there or somebody, bro. I swear yeah. to God, oh, that shit was crazy. It was Taylor Swift. I was right. I'm like, damn, because I had a show that night. You know what I'm saying? At, uh, when 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 dog Taylor, had Taylor a, Swift bigger than a bitch now. Yeah, yeah she's, she's the biggest, biggest artist out right now. She beat Adele this year. She beat Beyonce this year. Man, Drake this what? year. She beat them all combined, nigga. You know why? Why? Because she ain't dropping Drake. a while, ain't it? No, Drake, they lost supporters. Back to what I was saying. Drake, 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 it's a lot of bitches hate on Beyonce. Like, now that you can put that on that last shit, that little club yeah, album you dropped. Like that last shit, Wayne. Love is certified, yeah. lover boy or some shit. It just won that. that he like. It I feel even, like when he dropped it that. That's a good time. Yeah. I feel like when he dropped that. See Drake, he's he's so much of an artist, right? He was experimenting on that. He album. was experimenting, and then you know what he dropped? You know what that album is right there? What's that? When you go on South Beach and you walk in those whole all the clubs and shit, straight out. All the clubs. Out. When you go on the beach, when you go it on was, South yeah, Beach, was, I feel like it was for a different. When different you go in Euro, when you go in uh, the, what's some clubs down there in, in, in South Beach that they got all the clubs and all that shit? Not, yeah, you gonna hear that shit. Yeah, uh, 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 that, that, that 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 bounce that yeah. that that that, 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 that yeah. techno Club type music. shit. Yeah. Yeah. that's that shit. Oh yeah, chili yeah. pepper. Yeah, he that's that. that. That's that Miami shit. Yeah, they say you make you know that kind of music. Beat, when you ready Wood. to, you ready to transcend, nigga. That, that's yeah. all through Winwood yeah. right there. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. the little clubs, you gonna hear that shit. Dun, dun, dun. France, nigga. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, okay. man. He knew what he was doing with that. Yeah. That's cause they gonna forever play that in them clubs right yes, there. Yes, they will. That that uh uh, what's that shit down on in Miami downtown Miami Club Eleven and all that shit. That shit. Oh, uh, club. Uh, uh, Found Blue Club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, they playing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, they playing that shit. Yeah. That's that crowd. They're not the that's that rich crowd. You know what I'm saying? That's that. <laughs> yeah, that's that. They gonna forever play them songs. We ain't gonna hear it, but that's like a timeless records for for them clubs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real. Definitely, motherfucker. Real. So Drake dropped that. Drake that was a great. That was a good album for for the for the dancers and the ladies and all that shit. For the um, Euro, like he put he put like hip hop in Euro a little bit. He like mixed it. He combined it, bro. He an artist. I, it fucked me up. I remember when I put I dropped I'm like, damn, the fuck Drake called? I'm like, then I seen he had the one with 21 Savage. That bitch was hard. Then he had a couple other ones. Yeah, yeah, it was like. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had a couple other ones when he really but brought like, it. Oh, Jimmy, but Jimmy then stuff. he had so many that it was like, but then I had to sit back and look at it from an artist. That's, what, you, that's what I said. I and look at it at his is. level. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm like, man, he doing shit for the world right now. Yeah. Yeah, man, was that's why I said That was a world album. Yes, it was. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit you make, like I said, when you transcend Yeah, it, right? that's like some shit Prince would drop us. For real, uh, bro. Yeah, you hear that? Michael word. Jackson, I, that was like one of them albums or yeah. some shit. Pop. Straight. So who do y'all think had the best album for the year so far? I know we are almost at the end of the year. November, right? Who do you think dropped the best album so far? Because a lot of albums came out. Jeezy, ESTG, motherfucking... Mm. A lot of albums came out this year. Or right, let me not ask you that question. What, what music y'all listening to? <laughs> Kodak. 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 DJ Khaled. Oh, DJ Khaled. Uh, God with. God did. God did. God did. God did. Shout out Kelly. Shout out Kelly, Shout out Kelly man. God did. Yeah. Kelly snapped. Kelly did snap. God did. Yeah, he definitely snapped. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, 
Yeah. Shout out to fucking Khaled. Shout out Khaled. Shout out fucking Kodak. Shout out ESTG. Yeah, no homo. Yeah. Still jumping out. Still bumping that shit. Out. Not fucking Khaled. Shout out I'm real Boston not. Richie. That yeah, nigga, that nigga stepped Boston, his game up. I've been bumping that shit. Slide, Future drop too, though. Future, Future drop. You know we can't forget about motherfucking Future Pluto. drop. Yeah, yeah man. Future drop. That's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. a lot of niggas dropped this shit, bro. The year to That's why you can't really. I don't know. That's why I think what y'all was the best is what are you listening to? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm listening to Boston Richie still. Pluto, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Um, ESTG album was hard. Snow, Snowfall, Jeezy shit. I've been jamming that shit the last week. Um, shit, I be listening to just Brown's two shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been, been listening to shit. a lot of shout NBA out to Brown Stu. A lot of Brown I've been listening to a lot of Quavon. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I've been yeah. listening to yeah. listen a lot of artists out of the Brown Stu. Matter yeah. of fact. Mike City Crew Talk will be filmed at Brown Stu yeah. Studios here in the lounge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas. A bunch of bosses tapped in with each other. I gotta catch you know up. what I mean? Um, I appreciate everybody for you know tapping in, watching and listening, and be on the lookout for more Crew Talk with Mike City, man. Yo. So, uh, Boom. Uh, Huge.